fear that the trade and political tensions between China and Western countries will lead to a decline in global economic and trade integration and to the creation of parallel development poles that are increasingly disconnected from each other. Uh, back on the month incident, just for one short comment. She should not be there in the first place because she has broken no Canadian law at all. And for the two Canadian citizens, we have ensured their lawful rights, you know, each and every of them. Back to your question about this uh, current situation, you know, we are worried that because some people here in the Western countries are preaching for the idea of decoupling. So it's dangerous because for us, we believe this is the age of globalization. And for us, we will continue to be opening up, you know, uh, for the outside. And that's, you know, I have talked about a lot uh, at the very beginning about that. So that's part of the China. And then we argue that for the world economy, it's like an ocean, as President Xi you know, pointed out once. And we cannot channel the water of the ocean back into the isolated lakes. It will doomed to failure. But some people are trying to do that here in the United States. And someone also in Canada are also calling for that. We don't believe it's a wise idea because for those decoupling, it means that we will decouple from the uh, opportunities in future time to do business with the potential largest market in the world. And also that will be creating a lot of troubles for the supply chains. I don't think that will work, but there's indeed a danger of protectionism and unilateralism still, you know, uh, you know, uh, from the previous US administration, those ideas, they are still in place. So we should be united in fighting against this kind of protectionism and also for free trade. And I think that's another area where China and Canada, we share at least similar languages. So let's hope that we can together in this regard. Thank you.